All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to import your existing contacts, so your existing email list into MailChimp. So if you're just getting started with email marketing and you don't have any contacts yet, then this part will probably be irrelevant for you, so you can just skip ahead to the next part. But if you already have an email list and you wanna obviously continue to use those contacts, you wanna import that email list into MailChimp. So to do that, we just go to the left side here where it says audience dashboard. We're gonna click on audience dashboard. And then you already see this button right here where it says import your contacts. So we're gonna click on that. And then you have two different options to import your contacts. So you can just upload a file or you can copy and paste your contacts from your file. I would suggest you just use uh, the upload option because it's a lot easier and faster. And pretty much every email marketing provider, they offer the option to export your email list into a CSV file. So export your contacts to a CSV file and then choose the upload option and click on continue to upload. Then we have to choose the document, click on browse. And here I've kind of prepared an example email list that I've exported from a GetResponse, which is another email marketing provider. So I'm gonna click on open, click on continue to organize. And then you wanna make sure that the status is um, set to subscribed. Otherwise, um, they will have to resubscribe to your list, which is not something you wanna do. You don't wanna bother your contacts um, with resubscribing and all that kind of stuff because they've already subscribed to be on your email list. So make sure it's subscribed and then you can click on update any existing contacts. If you already have contacts on your MailChimp account, for us, uh, we don't have any yet because I've just created this account. Doesn't really matter what you tick here. Then click on continue to tag. And here's where you can give a tag to each subscriber that you're importing right now. So let's say um, these subscribers that you're importing right now are all interested in your blog post. So you would um, give them the tag blog. Um, or maybe these are your customers, so it would give it the tag customer, whatever makes sense to you. Let's say I wanna know um, that I have imported them from GetResponse, so I'm gonna name this um, import from GetResponse. Um, all right, let's continue, click on continue to match. And here's where you have to tell MailChimp what column in that CSV file belongs to what information. So it already recognizes that the email address, um, that these are email addresses right here, so it's already kind of assigned. Um, then here, these are the first names, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the orange field right here, and I'm gonna say this is the first name. Click on confirm, and then this column will change to white. So now um, MailChimp recognizes this column right here as a first name. And that's pretty much everything I usually um, import into my uh, new account. You can go through there and maybe you see some information that you also want to import, like maybe location, maybe a tag, or like, um, I don't know, whatever you need. Personally, I just use the email address and the name because everything else I don't really use in my marketing. So then click on finalize import and then click on complete import. All right, so we see your import was successful. We've updated 23 contacts and added four new contacts. You can ignore this right here because I have just tried this out before. Probably for you, it will say um, probably zero or one, doesn't really matter. So that's how you import your contacts. We can click on exit on the top right. And then we can go to, we can go to all contacts right here, uh, which uh, is the place where you can see an overview of all your contacts. So you see we have five different contacts uh, in there right now. We have some tags, so these are the ones that I've imported, which is the import from GetResponse tag. They're all subscribed, and then you also have some ratings and stuff, which kind of um, update automatically when people interact with your content, they will get a higher rating.